What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and we are back for something new! Um, I know Boon Boon Your Stuff has been out for a while. Obviously, I didn't buy into it right away. <laughs> um, yeah, so, if you haven't been able to tell, uh, my computer went down, so I haven't been able to watch Boon Boon Your until recently. But hey, I've watched the first nine episodes, so, uh... Maybe I'll talk about them sometime. And I was actually really holding off on getting any of these toys because at the time, when they were coming out, I really, really wasn't speaking to me. I was kind of like, eh, do I really want this? And I was like, maybe I'll wait until the show. And then I couldn't watch the show for like eight weeks or like a month or two. So it's like I really just kind of was not feeling or digging any of it. So I never picked any of it up because... I really had no interest at the time, but, uh, yeah, after binge-watching nine episodes, um, it led to d this decision. And luckily, this set had just recently come out. Um, I did get the promo off-road car. I think it's called the Ghost version. Um, you had to sticker it yourself, but we'll take a look at, to get, take a look at him later. Um, I don't have a changer or anything right now, um... Don't know if I'll ever get one. Uh, we'll see. If I do get a changer, I'll do a video on it here. But this is the Boom Boonger Robo DX Large Robot Bakujo set, or Bakujo Large Robot set, or Big Robot set. Um, I saw several different names. Um, constants were either Bakugo or Bakujo. Um, and for and or a description of a big robot. So, yeah, we have a bunch of the cars, and this is pretty much the set of all of the cars as of recently. I do know that there was a set for um, just Boon Boonger Robo and Off-Road and... God, I don't remember what your name was. Carrie? I don't remember. I don't remember what the pink one's name was. But, uh... But, yeah. Or is it the bus? Is it Boon Bus? And then you have Pato Car. And the Pato Cars. You got Racing. You got Classic. You got the Construction Crew. But yeah, I'm realizing I probably should have looked up the names of these before I started recording. But here we are. You can make four technical, or five, because I'm realizing they don't count the Boondario mode. Um, How how dare they? they? They need to remember that. But I feel like I'm a little bit rambling, so let's take a look at the box at long last. Um, yeah, you got the top of the box, it shows you everything that comes inside the box itself. You got the trailer, off-road, Patakar 1, Patakar 2, I can't read Japanese nor remember your names. I don't even remember these guys' names at the moment, I know this is classic and this is racing. Take a closer look, you get all, you get a look at the helmets, and it even says what they are, you got... Boom Boonger Robo Police, Builder, and Knight. And then you have regular Boon Boonger Robo. And then you have all the cards at the bottom. It says that. On the side, it gives you a, a look at all of the formations you can make. On this side, you get the regular one. It can be used with the changer. Like I said, I don't have it. And you can even slide it onto the back. On the back, we also actually do have this like lip kind of thing. We got the series name, Bandai. On the bottom, we got all five Boon Boongers, which these suits have really grown on me, honestly. Uh, do not do not try to eat him. He is a choking hazard, and he will make you cry if you try to eat him. He'll do that. And, oh, they do advertise the Boondaria mode. It's right here in the back. With this little robot friend. <laughs> they can move and wheel around. Uh, you got the gate mode that it's showing off. And pretty much all of them when you go through gate mode. Which I think they call these battle mode. But they often just do it to get ready for the combo. And once again you get all four versions. Of the robot you can make. You can make the standard ones. And this doesn't even include all like the mixing and matching you could technically do. Because like. 
because this is a toy, you can do whatever you want with it. So if you really wanted like pots of like him to use the guns, but then also have off road, nobody's there to stop you. Like you could give him like one of the pistols and then like give him a sword if you really want. But we'll get to that in a little bit. And that's pretty much the box. Yeah, nothing else to really say. I feel like I've kind of rambled on on this one a little bit. But there was a lot to talk about. It's been a while. Um, we're in new Sentai season. I know we're like a month or two into the new Sentai. But hey, I'm now on board. I'm having fun. So let's talk about some robots. So we're just going to bring all of them in here. And we will check them out. So let's go. And here are all the cars out of the box. Um, let's talk about the promo one real quick because it is the... I don't want to say it's the most boring, but it's the most... It's here because this has no gimmicks. Um, it does have a formation, which we will show off, and I will show it off going through the gate, but it's not going to do anything. It doesn't have a spring-loaded gimmick. Um, it's obviously just blue, but now in banana yellow, which... Um, before recording this, uh, Stormy pointed out to me that this was at, this could be reference to the ending dance like theme car, which was I didn't think about, but I feel like that might be true. Um, the stickers were all right to put on. Um, the instructions weren't that good, so I kind of hope I put them on right. But yeah, this is a off-road ghost version, which is a campaign item. So yeah, you have to sticker it up and. I need to show this off because it does give you stickers for you to put on the car to make it look like the Boon Boongers are driving it. And I kind of love that detail. I think that's really kind of funny. And you could probably make it so it looks like all five are in there. Like how we saw with the ending dance that one time. So yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with the sticker sheet. I don't know if I'm going to put it on this or just do whatever with it. But I have it. And I think it's neat. And I'm going to put it away. <laughs> so, let's take a look. We will save Bundario for last. Um, we'll, like, take a look at Off-Road. And I do like how these feel. These feel really nice. They actually do feel really similar to Shift Cars. Um, I don't know why. Both, like, it rolls super well like all of them do. Like, so, yeah. I don't know. So, if you want to compare it to a Shift Car, there they are. Um, especially when you have these guys next to each other. So yeah, there's a shift car. And you know what? Let's bring in Ironhide. This is core class Ironhide from it's the studio series. Yeah. So yeah, if you wanted to see how they stacked up with a core class and his legs are popping apart. And if you really wanted to, you can put like two cars you really, you really can't fit a third on there. You can also slide them in on the side. If I can get it right. And he has one on each side, which we will show off in a little bit. But yeah. And I will get into their spring-loaded gimmicks, but these buttons are, for some of them, are kind of really hard to do. But all you really do, and that's how you activate the gimmick. Or, if you really wanted to, you can just... Like, if, if you just pry it open. Which, I don't know if this will break it at all. I imagine it won't. But, yeah. There you go. I will show off the rest of their gimmicks, but I think we'll get into it when we actually get Boondario into gate mode. I will just probably be calling um, the Boon Boon trailer Boondario for the rest of this video, because... That's who he is. He has a name. He has a name. I'm going to call him by his name. <laughs> but yeah, that is Off-Road. And I did look it up. This is Boon Boon Wagon. Um, so I don't know how I forgot it was called Boon Boon Wagon, but I like the pink. I like the dark shade. Um, it definitely looks like one of those like SUVs that you see often around nowadays. You got some nice red paint with some silver. Yeah, and it has a port you got a rail system which i'm realizing i didn't go over the rail system b b b 12 b 11 so yeah and they roll pretty good 
Next, let's take a look at Patokar 1, which honestly has a fun paint job. I don't know why. These are just fun to just push back and forth. Um, you have the, like, metallic paint for the light bar, which I think looks pretty cool. The face is a ton of fun. You got the white. You got some nice detailing of, like, piping in the back. You got a screw. And underneath, you still have the undercarriage. And it's B B013 or BB13. And it was made in Thailand. It also has this third wheel, which we will get to when we get into its attack mode. Or combination mode, I'm not quite sure. Um, next, we got Patokar 2, which is a SWAT van, I think. If it's meant to be an ambulance, it don't look like a great ambulance. Um, and it is this nice metallic purple plastic, which I really like. Um, you got a light, you got the metallic paint for the light bar. You got a rail on both sides, and you get B zero. 114 14 so b014 and there you go there's that one we will get into the other stuff later so like i think this one is shovel this one is oh god what was what was your name dozer it it's a bulldozer why didn't i know that it's so obvious why these names aren't complex but i forget them Oh, well, here he is. He is a shovel, and it's kind of a bummer. I wish, which it's not that hard to do. I wish you could move this on its own, but it, as part of the gimmick, um, it really only moves up for the gimmick. So I get it. It was a, a simple thing, but I do like how it looks. It's kind of like a macaroni and cheese kind of orange, if you ask me. Um, but I don't mind that, actually. I just I think it's a ton of fun. He has false treads. And he's got nice silver plastic. And underneath, you can still read his thing. It is B016. Yep. And there you go. And you got Shovel next. And he actually has some joints. So you can actually move the shovel like that. And it just has three joints to do whatever you want. But if you want it to go through the gate, you kind of got to keep it as scrunched up as possible like this. So that's how you have to get it through the gate. But you do got the nice little where you think the person would see it. Got some sil silver. Got those false tread wheels again. And we got B015. Is this 14? Okay, I guess I swapped them. Either way. But yeah, he rolls really nice. And there you go. That is Shovel. This is Boom Boom Classic, which I think appeared first before any of these ones. Uh, yeah, because, like, I remember they just randomly used his sword mode. And I actually do like how this looks a lot. Like, I like this metallic, maroonish, pinkish plastic. I think it looks really cool. Got some really nice gold and everything. And it's just, like, one of those classic-looking, like... Like, 101 Dalmatian-style cars. I don't know why that's the first movie that makes me think about these cars, but that's what I remember. So, yeah. There you go. We will get into it becoming a sword a little bit later, but I like it. It is B018. And you got... I love, the, I love it when they do molding of the undercarriage. I don't know why. Just so fun. So, yeah, there you go. And last of the regular Boon Boon cars, we got Racing. And uh, it has obviously the, this little exhaust kind of thing. It looks like a NASCAR almost. Um, you can definitely tell that it's supposed to unfold into other things. But got the underneath, which still also has a ton of detailing. Like even in the crevices, you can still see pipe work and everything. You got bb17 and there you go it rolls really good so let's now get into the boon boon trailer and it is big like it is a long boy and just for another comparison just for the trailer here's hot rod this is a 
I would say it's relatively like a deluxe Voyager size. I want to say this is a Voyager class, but he's like, he's a smaller car. But you can put him on there. <laughs> and just to bring back the shift car. There you go. Also, you know, let's bring in my Boone Orange vinyl I have. He's the only vinyl I have so far. <laughs> but yeah, so you get all these wonderful details. I love that the wheels look like uh, Red's tire face. Um, you got the, obviously, the speedometer gauge kind of thing going on on the front. Some beautiful silver and metallic red paint. Looks awesome. You can't open this up, but that's more for later. You kind of can't do anything. Unless you want to make it look like it's going to eat people. Like, nom, 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 nom. So, on the side it says Boom Boonger, which I, I love it when they have details like this. Also, just like nondescript. Is that a warning? Is it just a triangle? I don't know. Got more wheels, but you got faux wheels. You got this wheel. You got the back of the trailer, which it has false doors. If you look underneath, you can see some of the undercarriage. It does have a rail for the changer. So that is a thing. Even got some nice piping details. Overall, I think it has a ton of fun details. On the other side, it still says Boom Boonger. But there you go. It also rolls really well. You can just go doo doo just push them around so yeah that is it um i guess to get into the trailer mode by the way i want to talk about this so as you know they really have stopped giving paper instructions but on the box it gives you a qr code for you to get the instructions and the instructions and i imagine if you are in japan this isn't a problem this is me in america but if you are you scan it, it literally tells you everything that comes in the box, like here, and then it's just like, check out the detailed instructions for each of the individual things that you can buy on its own. But I'm like, well, why didn't you just put those pages into the PDF you sent me to, instead of sending me that what aren't links? Like, they weren't links, they were just... whatever. <laughs> so, to get into trailer mode, it's quite simple. You... We move the cars back you just split this part and you flip this up boom that's gate mode <laughs> I don't even know if I can get this all in shot yeah that's gate mode move my mouse it's it's long <laughs> i'm not going to be able to have it all the way in shot but if you look on the back which i guess if i did a side shot real quick um you can pretty much see that you can push this back and forth and you obviously can tell what that gimmick is for but there's also this piece which is used more in robot mode that you can also hook cars into just to mention that but Let's start with off-road. If you'll slide him into here. And we move him like this. And we pull this front section. He transforms into attack mode or battle mode or combination mode. Whatever you want to call it. He now has a screwdriver coming out of his face. <laughs> so, there is that. And we're just going to do it for all of them. So, let's do off-road next, because they really do just want you to use gate mode for for this, so you can do this. And there you go. And to get um, Wagon into uh, ready for transformation, you pretty much flip this down, and there you go. There, Wagon is ready to become part of the robot. Next, we will do Patakar 1. Which I'm realizing, we never talked about this little guy. He will come into play a little bit later. I don't even know if he has a name. I know some people called him Boombot or whatever. He's just a little guy who holds 
a face for Boondario. We'll show that later. And pull this forward. And if you watch the episode that this was from, these were like the tire spikes that they were doing. And that's what this third wheel is for. So you can still have it like move around without those front two tires, which doesn't quite work because these tires are still there. But I do in the show, it is much worse um, because they actually made it way more spiky. But I do appreciate there are still spikes and everything and detailings on the inside to dedicate to those spikes along with the part that will become its hat later but there you go there is its attack mode we will set him to the side now patakar 2 um i feel like his transformation to go into uh for uh boom boonger robo is a lot cooler than its actual trailer mode thing because all it does is flip out two cannons <laughs> Oh boy, flips them out. So, we'll bring him back later. Next up, we will do Dozer. There you go. And he is almost ready. Next, we will do Shovel. It does not have any sound. Which, it brings this slightly up and then flips this around. Like, is this supposed to... I know what it's supposed to be. It's its face. But, like, is this supposed to be, like, a cannon? A magnifying glass? I'm not sure. It has, like, a bunch of little lights in everything. So, maybe, like, a cannon? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll get into that later. <laughs> you can go over there. Next up, we got Classic. and boom and often whenever classic goes through the gate it seems like one of these is always going to want to flip forward so you just get to push it out and there you go it's already like almost to a sword and we're gonna do um off-road ghost version first before we do um racing because look at it, it went through the gate Ooh, it doesn't have a gimmick so it can go over there racing there you go <laughs> there there's racing and there you go they have all gone through gate mode so let's start going into boon boon your robo and i've seen people detach things and you really don't have to but you can technically you can pop like this trailer piece in half and you can pull it out which makes sense, um, but you don't have to necessarily to transform it. Like if you reconnect these and you push it out like that um, to start the transformation, fold these little panels down, um, twist the waist like this. Tw oh, wait. Yeah, you got to move the arms first. Be smart. Move the arms. Um, so you can see the arms are on the joint. Move them out. And then you can twist it. You gotta keep you gotta keep the chest up, and then you click the crotch into together, and you get got his legs. You push him out slightly, and we gotta move up because he is now too tall for the camera frame. He's still too tall. <laughs> um you know what, let's just slide that down real quick, just so you can see him just a wee bit, which I'm realizing, I think I know what can solve my problem, there we go. So, if you fold this down... You can see we have the head almost ready, but if you pick this piece and you, you also got to make sure this is securely in, slip this back, flip that back, and there we go. You flip the head and you're pretty much there. You have Boon Boon Jir Robo. Um, you do want to flip these to probably be more flush. And we're pretty much done with Boon Boon Jir Robo, 
But before we actually get into the true combination, let's actually just snap this off real quick. Because if you want to do the Bundario mode, even though he's technically always Bundario, I don't know how that works. Um, if you bring back in the robot friend, you fold this out, you get his little hat brim that you often see him with. And if you look at the head, he has like those more like oblonged eyes like little pokey out eyes so this one gives him like let's just put them right next to each other you can see there are quite a little bit of difference you even have like little red vents painted on the side of the like regular ro robo's head but you can pretty much slide it on and this can pretty much still move um doesn't really lock in place and then you just got bundario and there you go they tell you to rip this off from bundario mode <laughs> So, yeah, um, that is going to be the last time we're going to see of this face for now. I may stick around displaying him with this face, but I'm not quite sure. So, let's finish off Boon Boon Robo. Oops, do not... Oh, I slid his whole thing off. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. There you go. And, yeah. Clip back on which is not okay or it can fall apart okay all right this is a mess there we go and you can fold it out to become like those cape wings which these are way too stiff to be like actually capes but yeah let's uh move slightly down so you can see his whole body there you go and it is as easy to slot them on because you see this little joint. Let's do his articulation real quick. He has no leg articulation. Um, yeah, he can move like that. He can move back that much. With yeah, Actually, that is a, about as far back as the joint will want to go. And when it comes to his hips, he can move that much. Like, you can't move it anymore. So, yeah, he obviously has no waist since it comes together. And he has no knees. So, King Oger slash uh, Don Oni Taijin, thank you for bringing in the articulation for it to be gone again. I will miss you, which is why I hesitated with this guy, but this guy's a ton of fun to actually transform um, and, like, just mess around with. And if we slide on his screwdriver, it's not even a sword, it's a screwdriver, which he just uses as a stabby weapon. You fold it in like there, and, oh, he fell. <laughs> there you go, you got one. And then you do this, and you give him a bit, because you slide it on to there. And you have Boon Boon Jir Robo. And there you go. These also move up, and they can also pop off. But yeah, so you can... He doesn't have, like, a lot of posability, like, none in the head ever. But that's also because of how it transforms. But you can definitely get him into some interesting poses with his alternate pieces and you can obviously customize it however you want like if we take off pink we could even throw pink onto the shoulder or onto the other shoulder or if we go down to the leg you go down to the leg and you do that so there you go you can really do anything you want with this robo oh i flipped it on backwards you want it the other way boom so there you go there is there is boon boon jir robo base states i guess we will call it um so before we you know what before we move on too far here let's do let's do uh boxing boon boon jir boxing which is just boom Okay, hook on. Boom. Boxing mode. It's just the two off-roads are punchy fists, so he's going to come at you. <laughs> okay. So there you go. There's that mode. Um, let's do police, because that was the next one we saw. So with this one, you actually have to untransform the head. So if you rotate it like this, and then you flip this back out, and you flip the head all the way around... Um, you see the, the rail that I was talking about earlier, if we take police and we flip the head 
which we have a new head, all the way down, flip the hat down, which makes it a little hat. Um, you take the rail system and you plug it into there and it just slides right in and boom. There you go. But yeah, there you go. You got police's head. And this is actually one of my favorite transformations um, because instead of doing what you would think would be splitting it in half, which you would think with how these are positioned, you actually rip it from this way, which I think is actually really cool. And then you flip them. And you obviously can flip out the handles if you want them. Um, you can obviously have him, like, holstered, like, if you really want that kind of look. For for some reason, I do know some boxes showed it, and you can give it to both sides. You can holster them. Um, you can, obviously, since it has the handles, you can give it, give him his guns. go into your hands and you can do all of that and there you go he has this is boon boonger robo police which i i do like i think he looks cool i like like this is kind of weird but i really like the head i like that it has almost like the police bar and a hat like in a spiky hat at that and the head sculpt looks really cool like and that's something i can say about all of them and it even feels more unique than like just not using the Bundario head again. But there are other things you could probably do with the gun. So if you wanted to fold that in, you could even use them as like arm cannons if you really wanted to. Or if you wanted to recombine them, hook them back to get. Oops, I flipped it the wrong way. Flip them back together. You can make it even bigger arm cannon or you can bring back uh, and bring back off-road if you really wanted to if you want him to have a screwdriver <laughs> so yeah there's a ton of different formations you could figure out so that's kind of fun and i guess let's move on to the next combo so let's rip off his head and for the next couple of combos, we are actually going to use this little guy. You do need to remove Bondario's face, and this is how it will be positioned. And you pretty much, just like before, you slide it onto that piece in there, and boom. You just pretty much have a platform. So, we will do um, construction first, which this one has almost a lot to kind of do. Kind of need to position it like this, slide it onto the shoulder pad, unfurl it almost, and then we'll save the head for, yeah, let's just do the head now. You flip the head around and boom, you got builder's face. But what is a builder without his hammer? You fold this, you fold that out, and you fold it, you just fold it a lot, and then boom, you got a hammer. <laughs> got a big hammer a hammer so big he needs a robotic arm contraption to keep a hold of it which i dig that honestly i think that's kind of cool and it does have enough articulation on the actual little arm oh god the shoulder pad popped off um to keep up with the arm so like you can have it look like it's supporting the hand the whole time i do wish that the shovel or something could hook onto the arm instead of you just having to place it where it needs to be and honestly it is a little bit bare but because a lot of the customizability you could just give him like the big hand as well and honestly i like how that looks that's pretty sweet I don't know if this would have a different name, but there you go. Boon Boonger Robo Builder with the wagon attached. <laughs> and honestly, I love the head sculpt. I like it. I think it looks really cool. It's both like a miner and like a big jawed man. <laughs> but yeah, there's Builder. And yeah, you know, you can position that and you can bang into stuff. 
I just like the orange hammer. I think that's fun. <laughs> I like how many weapons this thing has. It has this, and now it's going to get a sword next. But there you go. And if you really wanted to, I realized, um, if we transform this slightly back... Um, if you really wanted to, you could just hook this onto the arm and give it, like, a shovel scoop. If you really wanted to. So if you have any combos with that. Or obviously you can put it on the shoulder. So, let's get to the last combo. Boom Boonger Knight. And this one is kind of just very similar to the one we just did. But you fold this down and you put it on the opposite shoulder pad. Ooh boy. Um, you fold this little arm down, you fold this, and boom, you got knight. And you get this, and you slide it right into your, into his hands, and you have Boon Boon your knight. And does anyone else get some King Oger vibes? Because it has like the cape, like almost beetle-like horns while also having a really unique like exhaust pipe face um like i don't know if this is just like a subtle reference to king oger or just they made a cool looking knight that conveniently looked like a king oger thing but either way i like it i think it looks really cool the head sculpt's kind of neat you got his sword which even has the gold detailing still on the inside kind of like like, I'm not saying this looks like the Master Sword, but it gives me some Master Sword vibes now that I'm noticing, like, the wings kind of thing. So, that's kind of neat. And if you want to, if you didn't want to connect it that way, you could always just give him a stabby arm. Stabby. Get that stabby arm. But there you go. And that is Boon Boonger Knight. So... Let's just put him back in standard Boom Boonger Robo mode so we can get some comparisons in here. And the transformation is honestly really fun and kind of quick to do, like you just saw me. And I feel like that's why I actually do enjoy this guy a lot. It's like, he's just simple to just grab and mess with. And it's like, he has the three modes, so if you're a kid, it's kind of really cool. You get like a playset with the gate mode, you just get cars you can roll around, and then you get a fun, chunky robot that you can connect your cars onto and give it swords or whatever else, or a giant claw, mitt hand, and it's just fun. Like, this guy is just a ton of fun, even though he doesn't have a lot of articulation. I thought that would be a takeaway for me, but like, he kind of is just a neat little guy and it just i like boondario so let's bring in king oger for comparison oh okay why do you not want to stand king oger why are you doing this to me is it because you are no longer because is, is it because we're into a new sentai are you upset <laughs> But there he is right next to King Oger. And they're about the same size. His horns are obviously make him taller. But if we're going by like the heads, they're about the same size. If you move his sword, they're about the same size. So if we bring in um, somebody who's obviously going to be leagues bigger... <laughs> Um, but he, I had him around, so might as well bring him in. Don Oni Taijin, I'm not going to fit him in the frame. You're just going to see his waist. <laughs> so yeah, there he is. So Don Oni Taijin, still a big boy. But let's bring in another fun one of recent times. Uh, full action Kira Yujin, who is like a head taller, but he's always been a head taller. He is a beefier bot. But they are both beefy in their own ways. So there you go. There is Kiryujin. And let's bring back in the Boon Orange Vinyl. Obviously that doesn't scale. Um, I also have like a 4 inch Spider-Man. Who doesn't want to stand. So there you go. There's a Spider-Man. He doesn't want to stand so he's going away. Um... We got a G2 Grimlock and the Corpse of Optimus Prime, because that's something they decided to make. But yeah, there you go. 
there are some comparisons. So, what do you guys think? What are you guys thinking of Boon Boonger so far? Have you guys gotten any of the robots? Or did you wait like I did and waited for a big set where you could mess with a bunch of cars? Um, I honestly had a really fun time, like, recording this and, like, messing with him and thinking of my own combos to do with him, which is, like, adding stuff to the shoulders or something. So I'm really curious if I could find a way to have a combo of, like, have, multi like, all of them on there. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm very excited to see where we're going to go with this toy line. I'm definitely... I will definitely probably pick up one of the changers. I don't know if I'm going to pick up both right away, but if I, whenever I get whichever one I pick, I will do a video on it. I'm definitely going to keep, keep up with this mecha line. I think it's a ton of fun and it's not even that expensive. Like I want to say like one of these cars was like eight bucks or something like that or 10 bucks. I can't quite remember. I just like, obviously I bought the full set, so I didn't buy it individually and honestly it's selling pretty well because it was hard to kind of find anything that wasn't this set which for me it was just easy but obviously if you wanted like the boon boon supercar or off ghost off-road or like the other version of the supercar i know there's two versions of the supercar um you had to get other certain sets i really didn't care for them like i'm not saying like the sounds in the changer aren't fun and maybe i'll change my mind and try to track them down but overall, if it's not like one of the DX ones that have spring, that have the spring-loaded gimmicks for Boom Boom Jerobo, I don't know if I'm going to be picking them up. I don't know if I'm going to be going after the Sentai ones. But I'll definitely still keep talking about this mecha line. So Boondario is going to be sticking around, and we'll probably be doing some more videos. What are you guys excited to see? What do you guys think of Boom Boom Jerobo? What do you guys think of the suits? Like, at first I thought they were really weird, but they have grown on me, and I actually kind of dig them. So... There's my thought all right there. Uh, he, he can't hold the hammer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so tell me what you guys think. Um, tell me down in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry if I rambled a little bit. And until whatever I do next, bye-bye.